We invite you to learn about AACN Literacy through the 2020 PRC AAC Literacy Planner. This month's story is called A Fish Out of Water. Our AAC Literacy Planner was designed as a tool to help educators, speech language pathologists, and parents offer beginning literacy activities to learners using AAC. This includes children who are learning how to communicate with their AAC system and learning how to enjoy books at the same time. Our Literacy Planner includes best practices in literacy instruction. We've even included suggested Common Core standards for use in the classroom. In each month's lesson, you will find five or six target words to model, as well as some simple, short-term objectives to help you target your instruction. You will find a section called Introduce the Story. See suggestions for how to read and model the target words during your reading time with your AAC learner. Feel free to add additional vocabulary based on your student's individual needs. You'll find additional activities for sensory, motor, craft, music, and writing. You'll also find smart charts for Lamp Words for Life 84 Full and Unity 84 Sequenced. You can use these when reading the story. If you need a different language configuration, you can make your own smart charts with our free PASS software on your Windows computer. Or use our smart chart generator on the AAC Language Lab. Our story for this month is called A Fish Out of Water. It was written by Helen Palmer and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. This example uses Unity 84 sequenced vocabulary. The target words for this story are all, down, fish, put, and stop. The bonus word for this story is yikes. Read the story and you'll see why. Use these words on the speech generating device as you read the story this month to model for the communication learner. This helps our AAC communicator learn how to use these words when talking about the story. In preparation for reading the story, I've used Vocabulary Builder, a feature within my software, to temporarily hide words that I don't want to show during this story. Sometimes I can turn Vocabulary Builder on to introduce the target words before reading my story and then turn Vocabulary Builder off to bring back all of my student's words so he can use them for commenting or asking questions during the story. All. Down. Fish. Put. Stop. Yikes. Please pause while reading the story to interact with your communicator. We hope you enjoy this story. This month's story is called A Fish Out of Water. It was written by Helen Palmer and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. Whoa, look at that big fish. Hmm, I think this story will be about a fish. What do you think? Let's take a picture walk to find out. It looks like that boy is in a pet store. He's pointing at a fish. I wonder if he's going to buy a fish to take home. The man at the pet store seems to be telling him something. It looks like he's telling him to do a little bit of something. Gee, the fish looks like it's getting bigger. First, it looks like the boy put it in a fish bowl, and then he put it in a bigger bowl. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Let's read the story and find out. A Fish Out of Water This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him, 
and he likes me. I will call him Otto. The boy is going to buy a fish. Do you have any pets? Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, When you feed a fish, never feed him a lot, so much and no more, never more than a spot, or something may happen, you never know what. Mr. Carp told him how to feed his fish. He said never feed him all of the food, just a little tiny bit. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much, just one little spot. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto, he just had to have more. He thinks his fish is still hungry. I wonder if he'll put more food in the bowl for him. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot, never more than a spot, or something may happen, you never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. Yikes! Did you hear that? The boy gave him all the food in the box. All the food. Mr. Carp said never do that. What do you think might happen to the fish? Let's turn the page and find out. Then something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow, I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fish bowl. Yikes! He put all the food into the fish bowl. And now his fish is growing bigger. What will he do? There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said. This will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny. Not funny at all. His tail was growing right out of the top. The boy had to put him in a big vase for flowers because his fish would not stop growing. Do you remember why he's growing so much? Yikes! I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then you will be all right. I put him in a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon, he was too big for the pot. Look at how big the fish is getting. That fish is so big, it outgrew the vase he had to put it in. It will not stop growing. I wonder where he's going to have to put him next. He looks too big for the pot. Do you think he's growing because the boy gave him all the food? What would you do with a fish that big? I put him in pot after pot. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time. 
Very soon, I ran out of pots. Look at his fish now. He has gotten so big. That fish will not stop growing. I wonder if the boy wishes that he had not given his fish all of that food. Yikes! I wonder what's going to happen now. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. He's taking his fish all the way up to the tub because his fish will not stop growing. He is so big. He's going to put him in his bathtub. I can't wait to see what that looks like. At last, there, Otto, I said, this tub holds my father. This tub holds my mother, so it will hold you. Yikes, look at that. He had to put that big fish in the bathtub. His fish will not stop growing. Look at all the water in that bathtub. But the tub did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Look how big his fish is now. He will not stop growing. Where do you think he's going to put his fish next? Then crash! The door went down. Crash! Otto went down. I went down too. Oh, what a ride! Yikes! Look at that boy going down the stairs on all that water. The fish is so big, he broke through the door. The fish is going down the stairs on all that water. Do you think that fish will ever stop growing? Down went the water into the cellar. And down went Otto, too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. The fish is going down to the cellar. That's like a basement under the house. That fish is so big. He wouldn't even fit in the bathtub anymore. I can't believe all that water is flowing from the bathroom through the house. Where, oh, where is the boy going to put his big fish next? I called a policeman. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What, said the policeman? Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad. I will come at once. Oh, good. The police officer said he would come and help the boy with his fish. The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. The boy told the police officer that his fish was down in the cellar. Oh, I really hope the police officer can help him. The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in a cellar. We will have to get him out. Yikes! Look at all that water down in the basement. 
How are they going to get that big fish out? Do you have any ideas? We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen. And it did. It did. Otto will not stop growing. I wonder where they're going to put him now. Now we had Otto out of the cellar. But now Otto had no water. No water at all. A fish has to have water, I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. Who do you think will come help them with the big fish? The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much? We will come at once. Oh, good. The firemen are going to come help them with their big fish. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him? I asked. Uptown? Downtown? Yikes! Where are they going to put that fish next? To the pool, yelled the fireman. To the pool, I yelled, and please hurry. They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, Everyone get out of the pool. This fish is going in. Yikes! They're going to put Otto in the pool. But Otto went right on growing. And no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. All the people are mad that they put Otto in the pool. What should they do now? And will Otto ever stop growing? There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much. I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. The boy called Mr. Carp on this old-fashioned phone, and he said he would come help the fish. Then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things, too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. Can Mr. Carp stop the fish from growing? He took his black box with him and all the other things, too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Mr. Carp went down into the water. Let's see what he's going to do. Splash! Now Otto went down, too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down there in the water? What do you think is going on down there? Now I could see nothing. Not Otto. Not Mr. Carp. Nothing at all. Would I see my Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? 
Mr. Carp! Mr. Carp! I yelled. What are you doing? Are you all right? Yikes! What in the world are they doing down there? Then up jumped Mr. Carp. In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. He did it. He made Otto a little fish again. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. So Mr. Carp is saying, don't feed the fish all the food. Now that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more, never more than a spot, or something may happen. And now I know what. Yes, he knows if he feeds his fish all the food, that fish will get too big and he may never stop growing. The end.